important. The leader of the office is the mention about places there, and that is the level policy. Letting them do it alone. If they still can no longer make it, is that what you mean? Yes. The government is now studying the implementation of policies and proposals. For the Malacanang believes national interest must be a priority concern in effort to settle the labor management dispute at Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier, and the country's and the Asia's first airline. Not now to say that the Pacific can handle these flights alone or other area industries like Air Philippines. Cebu Pacific is not yet capable of handling huge flight services like what the PAL or the Philippine Airlines is doing right now. Because Philippine Airlines is a major industry in aviation and or in the airline. Now I will cite to you the benefits that would go if the government would intervene or interfere or cooperate in resolving this labor law. First, at the end of the day, the government official will ensure that public interest will not be sacrificed and that if we are to choose between PAL and the Filipino people of greater population, the choice, the choice as the government of the people, by the people, will definitely go for the people should the PAL fail to resolve this case. Second, later, that since the PAL labor law is imbued with national interest of the riding public and includes social justifications, no later, of labor under the labor code. Therefore, the Malacanya, as the house of the government, must take part in resetting this dispute that greatly affect the economy, particularly the airline industry, no later. Third, we do not, we do not want foreign airline, airline industry to totally dominate the airline business should the Asia's first airline fails because of the weak airline management and the labor procedures that it adheres to this company here in this country. The government may have proposed the open skies, or the majority of the open skies is allowing foreign airlines, but not on the extent of total domination, but only to the slots or the vacant flights that the Philippine Airlines have left. But if PAL continue to allow this for much longer time, eventually the country's airline industry would turn down, Mr. Chair. And the government will be forced to accept foreign participation, which will definitely harm the existing local industry with like Super Pacific Air Philippines and Air Philippines, no later. The, the fact, as mentioned earlier, that the, the power management and the labor union should undergo mediation talks, talks or agreement, but actually they have undergone, undergone several mediation talks, no later. The Philippine Airlines Management and the Flight Attendance and Stewards Association of the Philippines, or the FASA, consisting of 1,600 members, has have undergone through several mediation talks sent by the NCMB or the National Conciliation and Mediation Board. Yet there is no still insisting agreement between the two sides because the other sides refuse to back down the other demands of the other. Number one is that actual settling of this dispute tells us that there is no relief inside existing between labor and management dispute, but just a saber rattling in power labor rule, and that they are just you no, know, they have undergone several mediation talks, and what happened? They are just exchanging, exchanging demands of each side, and there is no resolution to that. And the, that's, 
Lord, if the government will not interest in Philippine Airlines employees, uh, it will not interest in Philippine Airlines employees will go like a thief in the night, strikes should the airline management continue to exist or insist. It can happen once, the strike can happen once, and it can happen again. And this we do not want to happen in this country which is facing fiscal crisis or the country is facing economic you know, instability and we do not have it, it will surely back down the economic stability of the country, particularly the ventures of airline industry. I make it clear. Yes, sir, we can see to the fact that there should be and that the government could intercede only after if both parties would agree. But why the president of the Philippines? Why Pinoy himself? They should agree that you 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 mentioned earlier that the DOLE or the Department of Labor and Employment should be the one who is should be the one who who would go into these two sides. And we know that the OLE is part of the government. It's a government institution. <laughs> of conformity to the government side, that the government should intercede in this desperate for labor law. Show us us that the airline industry will still be working well if the desperate will continue over for, will further would move on to exist and that the government would just watch by witnessing the, the economy back down because the significant airline industry has turned down eventually. So, we are talking here of the situation of the public, which all the greater population and we don't want they we don't we do not want to harm the concern of the riding public, which actually Like, and that with my case, I'm saying, I'm going to go back to the car.